Hey everyone, I'm Danica and welcome back to my channel. I've already done my foundation and contouring, so just going straight to the eyes today. I'm taking this beautiful soft pink shade from the Makeup Geek eyeshadow range and I'm applying this to my crease. As I'm creating a halo or spotlight smoky eye as some of you call it, I'm not going to wing it out like I usually do, but I'm just keeping it within my socket. And then taking a more dense blending brush, I'm going to apply that same color under my lower lash line. As you can see, I'm connecting that shade with my crease and almost creating a ring. And this will also be our guide for the halo eye. Now I'm taking this gorgeous cream eyeshadow from Maybelline and using it as my base for the purple. This step is to enhance and make the purple eyeshadows more vibrant. Next, I'm taking this dark purple shadow and I'm going to focus this on the outer corner of my eye and I'm going to softly blend it in. Guys, I know I've been using the crap out of my Tyler palette in my last few videos, but I'm so obsessed with the neutral matte colours and how they can be incorporated into most eye looks, so it's definitely a must-have. Um, and then taking the same purple eyeshadow, I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of my eyelid and then I'm going to soften the shade into my cream eyeshadow so that there is a seamless blend. And then with a small eyeshadow brush I'm going to join the two dark purple eyeshadows together by slowly smoking it out through my lower crease. Following from the outer corner on my mobile lid I'm going to drag that purple eyeshadow onto my lower lash line and only smoke out that outer section. It's almost to mirror what's on the eyelid. And then I'm going to go back to that pink transition shade from the start and blend out all the edges so that the purple softens into my skin. Now for lashes, I'm curling them with my all-time favourite Models Prefer Curler. It's super affordable, drugstore and isn't that rounded so it works for most eye shapes. And then a light coat of my favourite mascara from Too Faced before applying my falsies. Today I tried out the number 48 lashes from MAC which are absolutely beautiful. They're kind of a full length wispy lash with quite a bit of volume. And then going back to that pink eyeshadow from the start, I'm going to apply this to my inner lower lash line and blend it into the dark purple on the outer corner. Next, I'm taking this shimmery purple eyeshadow that has flecks of silver in it and I'm just applying it to the very center of the lids to make the purple pop a little better and give it a soft glistening effect. Now this is my favorite eyeshadow ever. It's duochrome, which means it's got a pink base with light gold reflex in it and it's just so stunning. So I'm just going to apply this to the inner corners of my eye to brighten up the eye look. Then to define my eyes some more, I'm going to line my waterline with a purple eye pencil and this will add some depth and give it a more defined smoked out look. And then some mascara to the bottom lashes to finish off the eyes. I didn't want to add too much colour to my cheeks. So I mostly focus this warm pink blush shade to the outer section of my cheeks um, and then softened it into my contour. For my first cheekbone highlight, I'm taking Pink Heart from the new Anastasia Moon Child palette and softly blending it into my blush shade. This is my favourite highlighter brush for really pigmented highlights as the bristles are fluffy enough to softly blend it all out. And yes, unfortunately my palette did break in the mail, but I was too impatient to return it and wait for another one. So yes, this will have to do. And then I added some purple horseshoe to the top section of my highlight to make that highlight match with the pinks and purples in my eyes. And grabbing that soft highlight brush again, I blended the two together in the middle. I also used Purple Horseshoe for my brow bone, the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow. And of course you can't have a luminous face with a matte decolletage, so I blended the pink heart and purple horseshoe shades 
on my collarbone and also my shoulders so pretty much wherever the light naturally hits and for the final touch a soft pink gloss to balance out and bring all the colors beautifully together I really loved how this look turned out this palette is definitely not limited to fairer complexions as I think any skin tone can rock those shades let me know what you guys thought in the comments below and don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!